Hey tribe, welcome back for day six. Um, the scripture for day six is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 and Proverbs 18, um, verse 22. And I just literally just realized that I have not been giving you all the prompts. Um, for day six, the blurb is that we would meet and marry in God's perfect timing, that he would um, walk the path that God has um, and through these um, through these videos I've kind of been praying for both of us because we are one like to be the two become one um, in marriage and so some of us may be already married in the spirit some of us may not be to that point yet but either way either way because you're praying for your kingdom husband because you're praying for the husband that God has <clears throat> pulled you from you are one with your husband so it kind of is like a prayer for you and your husband in that sense um it's kind of like aligning and from my perspective so proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will he shall direct your paths um this scripture actually is pretty um like i'm sure it's pretty well known but just in the things that i've been going through in the warfare that i've been going through in the last few um like in the last week i would say in the last few days this scripture is really important i like i wish i would keep it closer like i wish i would meditate on this more so i probably will meditate on this um this scripture in particular throughout the week because I I have been wanting to like I'm done like all set like I'm good on my husband because of just the process and how long it's been how um, how much turmoil there has been in the process but of course God is like come on now <laughs> you're not done until I say you're done <laughs> so but um just just let me just pray. God, I just, I thank you for this scripture in particular right now, because you know the things that I've gone through internally, um, that some of my sisters in Christ may be going through internally or may go through internally. And so I thank you for allowing me to experience these things so I can share my testimony, um, about how I've gotten through. Um, I know it's not the right time to share all of the, de the details right now, Father God, but I just thank you that you have allowed me to go through these things, even though it's hard to go through. Um, I thank you because I know in the end you win. And I thank you that this scripture is a part of this prayer. Um, the I thank you that this, this scripture is the focus of this prayer today because it's it's so needed. Like, simply put, it's just really needed in my life at this point in time. And I know that your word hits all of us and it, it may hit us differently, but it, it's your word. And so it, it just stretches, it's everlasting. And I just thank you that you've given us your word, Father God, because without it, we would not have any sort of guidance. Um, and I just really needed this scripture today. Um, I thank you for allowing us to not trust in our own understanding, Father God, and helping us to not lean on our own understanding. And I thank you for continuing to pursue us in a way that makes us, that causes us to lean into you more and causes us to lean on your word, regardless of the, the physical circumstance. Your word is true and it does not return unto you void. And I thank you that that is truth, Father God. I thank you that regardless of what we may go through internally or externally, um, that our response is not to lean on on what we can understand, but lean into what you've said, regardless of what we may feel, regardless of what we go through. I just thank you, Father God, because it's so simple, but it's so potent in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I pray that our husbands are coming into alignment in a in a 
in um, your timing and in the timing that you have for the both of us. I thank you that we're coming into alignment at the same time, Father God, and that we are not unequally yoked, that we are equally yoked in the spirit, Father God, and that this is really what you have for us. And I just thank you for that because it's everything that we want and, every, and more than what we've asked for and prayed for and more than what we can think or imagine. And so I just thank you for that, Father, in the name of Jesus. The next scripture is Proverbs 18.22. Thank you for directing our paths and being a lamp unto my husband's feet so that I can properly be guided and led in the name of Jesus and not have that fear of going down a rabbit hole with a man that is not being led by you. Proverbs 18.22 says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor for the from the Lord. And so, first of all, God, I just want to say thank you for giving our husbands a relationship with you, or cultivating our... I'm recording, okay? So just be quiet. Thank you for giving our husbands um, a relationship with you and um, just allowing them to really have you in their hearts i thank you father god that they are pursuing you and they are finding you father god i thank you that because he is finding you so tough in the name of jesus because he is so committed to seeking your face and diligently seeking your kingdom father god that he will find us in the timing that you have for us in the name of jesus and that when he does find us, he will realize that we are his favor and that he will realize that um, the favor that he has not been able to have um, previously will be manifested and will come to fruition in, in his life. I pray that it would be so clear that we are his favor, Father God, and that he would treat us as, as such, that he would treat us as... Um, more more valuable than rubies father god that he would see our value the way you see our value and we thank you for that father god we thank you for him being the husband that you have drafted for us that you have um cultivated for us we just thank you father god we are so grateful and we are so humbled by the process and we are so just and in awe with how you move. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs>